Banana Grinds. Uh, the last vlog was about being in the moment instead of being uh, distracted by social media and people that I count on. This vlog looks maybe a little bit ambiguous. I'm a little bit ashamed because the moment where I talked about I left it. First I was bitten by a dog so I had to go to the capital city of Mongolia to Ulaanbaatar to find a hospital to have an extra rabies vaccination. I hated it to be in the big city. The only thing that gives me some calmness is my mp3 player in this big city. In the same city I had a Skype conversation with my girlfriend wherein she broke up. I knew it was better to break up but it did not take the pain away. In Ulaanbaatar my visa for China was refused and it was possible to get a visa for Russia again. When I drive on the 250 km Ulan Udu Ulaanbaatar road, my breath becomes heavy and that what is inside pulls down. The tears in my eyes are behind my sleeves as well. When I called my sister yesterday, she cried and did not know what to say. I miss the country where I was born in. The small streets in the cities, the canals, the rivers and especially the Lingen. I miss my father. The feeling goes deep down under my stomach. The man who gives me a hitchhike, he talks on the phone. And the couple in the back are making love. A question comes to my mind. Why can I not just go back and have a rest in the Netherlands before I continue my travel? I was in the taiga, had holiday with random Russians, went into the wild and slept with nomads. One side says, don't be a pussy, hitchhike to Kazakhstan and Iran. But on the other hand, I can travel back to the Netherlands as well. Is it a failure when I take a break? After midnight, I arrived again at the Anna Grange and fell asleep with these questions in mind. A new morning on the Anna Crunch. We are heathering the goats, cutting the grass and building on the wall. It is the 20th of September. That I will travel through Russia is for sure. China and Russia are the only countries that have borders with Mongolia. The options are travel the whole way back to the Netherlands or travel to Kazakhstan, which is also back. Only the thinking about this enormous hitchhike of 10,000 km when I go to the Netherlands or 5,000 when I go to Kazakhstan gives me goosebumps goosebumps of fear but also of adventure and next thing comes up it will be autumn when I hitchhike and camp through Siberia will I be able to survive? <laughs>